Hello, my name's Rainy Brown, and I'm back again for another base build in this crazy world called Rust. And today I have one for you that I like to call the Raided Look. So this is how you do it. You get a foundation as low as you can. The trick to placing these foundations is you need to find a flat piece of land. And then you need to look down and place it like that. And you see how it steps me up? Then it will allow you to do two foundation steps up and the foundation but I think I'm too close to that one for it so try this side I'll try this side there you go then it's just a case of coming back over yourself and then you drop down and well you get the drift and sometimes it won't allow you to place but I got lucky there and it did but now you know how to do that it's simple this tactic's been around for years man but it never really got used much till this uh, ladder and twig update so <coughs> now we know how to do that let's just get rid of all this all right job's good okay so build yourself a 2v2 out of that simple and then you need to put some foundation steps up and then you need to decide which one of these isn't going to be a foundation because one of them is going to be access down basically so uh, let's pick this one okay so I've actually taken two out you'll see why in a minute okay so here's what we're going to do get upgrading all that shit simple and you want to put walls in like so and you want to wall this off make sure you rotate everything the right way and do it so you can upgrade it from the outside because once it's blocked you won't get in there and we'll swing around here swing around here Them here. And we need one more in here. And bear in mind, if you place anything in these squares, it won't allow you to upgrade the foundation above. So now we've done that. And no clip off. It will allow you to upgrade them. So basically, stack foundations. Anybody comes and looks at that, that's weird as fuck. Now we upgrade this, upgrade that, upgrade this. Get that one. Not many people check the stability. An experienced raider probably would, but I don't think an experienced raider would mess with this base to be honest with you. And I'd be mega confused if I seen this 8700 there and it just wouldn't make sense. So now we've done that, we come up, upgrade steps. Jobs are good. So that's your hidden loot room bit. We'll put steps there, we want floor frame and we want to upgrade all right so basically down here you're going to have a loot room let's get some boxes on the go Now for your cupboard, this is the tricky part really to be honest with you, I'd say the best thing to do is to keep your cupboard down here, even though they're not going to see it upstairs, but we've got a plan for that. So now you've got that, slap your ladder at you, stick the code lock on, and we need a few furnaces. Just need a sleeping bag down here. Chop's got it. Alright, so let's go back up. So basically, I'm just going to decorate this base up and we're going to make it look like it's been raided. So, what we'll do is we'll 
door frame on there. And then just upgrade. Alright, so there you go, now that's upgraded. Do the thing that everybody else is doing. Do your little roof tile trick. Now, the cupboard. Two ideas on this. We can do it old school. Come out here and we stick triangle down. frame and we trick the raider into believing that your cupboard is in here because you haven't got much space in it so now we want to get rid of that so now we want to fill this in and stick a few boxes down and then we need to find a way to disguise that Right, so we are done inside, so out here, people, the raiders will think your cupboard is in there, but it's nothing, that's just an empty triangle. Right, so we go in, and I've used the rugs to cover the ladder hatch, you also put your furnaces three in a row across there and put some boxes down. What this does is it blocks the open door feature, so if the raiders are there looking down at the boxes, they won't find the open ladder hatch icon, basically, so that's placing deployable open things can do that for you so come in make sure you've got a few scraps in here so you know what I mean think it's been raided maybe even do a bit damage to the floor tiles and stuff like that so it looks like someone blasted rockets in but uh, so whenever you want to come down to your loot room you've got to empty well destroy these three boxes remove them rugs and then just no clip down Here is your actual base down here on a 2v1. Keep all your loot in here. Just keep a few scraps up there. You've got your pack down here, you've got three furnaces. More than enough to stay undetected. So, let's just actually have a look at the cost. That this costs very much to make it all. Twelve K stone for a simple little raided look base. I guarantee no one's going to bother you in here. They're just going to think this is an empty raided base. You can avoid detection. Survive the white. Right. So that's pretty much done. My name's Brandy Brown. This has been the raided look base. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you and bye.